Today I'm going to show you how to make the best slow cooker red beans. These are so creamy and delicious. This is going to be good. Okay, so I'm going to soak my red kidney beans overnight. I'm using one pound of these red kidney beans and if you flip the package over there's a great recipe to use as a guide and that's what I'm doing today but I adjust it for the slow cooker but pretty much the seasonings and fresh ingredients are what I like to use okay so in my bowl I'm gonna add the beans and you can sort through them even if they're broken I really want these to be creamy and soft so it doesn't really matter but you can pick that out by the way for those of you that always ask, this bowl that I use is actually a Korean rice mixing bowl and I purchased it long ago at my local Korean grocery store. Okay, so now I'm going to fill this up with water. I really don't measure. I just cover the beans with water and then fill it like two more inches or so above that. I sort of stated earlier, sort the beans. You can give them a quick rinse, but I'm just gonna let them soak. And then by tomorrow morning, I'll just drain the water and rinse well. Okay, so these are ready to just sit here and soak overnight. 12 hours minimum, a little longer works great. Okay, so it's the next day. They 100% soaked. And you can see they kind of split open, that's okay. But I'm going to drain this water and rinse well. Some of the other ingredients I'm using, here I have 12 ounces of smoked turkey sausage. You could use beef and dewey works. I kind of want this not to be super spicy. I'm also working with a little over two and a half pounds of smoked turkey wings, half of a large bell pepper, half of a medium onion, like five cloves of garlic, two celery sticks, and here I have 32 fluid ounces of chicken broth going in. Okay, so I am going to add my rinsed soaked beans into a six quart crock pot along with all the turkey wings. And if you have ham hock, that also works. I like smoked turkey wings. It's just great with this. I'm gonna add all of my diced and chopped veggies. Here I'm going to add the entire container of chicken broth. That's four cups of chicken broth. If you don't have chicken broth, use four cups of water. And also I'm going to refrain from adding any of my salt or seasonings uh, right now, or anything with salt basically, because that will sort of prolong the cook time. Here I'm adding the sausage, and two bay leaves are going in, and I always forget to put that first before the liquid, but now I'm going to cover with a lid, and then after the four hour mark, I am going to come back, stir, and check everything. And that'll be around the time that I'm gonna add seasonings and the additional ingredients. So I am going to be adding Cajun seasoning to taste, or you could just use salt. Here I will be adding some Louisiana hot sauce. I like to add three to four tablespoons of butter. So at this point, it has been four hours. I'm going to lift the lid. I'm gonna give everything a stir. And I did use chicken broth that, did, that was salted. So if you're using like low sodium or water, then you'll definitely need to salt to taste. But I'm gonna give this a mix, and I wanna show you, the turkey meat is already falling off the bones. This is when you know it's done. The beans are actually done at this point, but I want these to be creamier, so I'm gonna let them go for another hour. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is add the butter. This is around three tablespoons going in, and I'm just sort of gonna break that apart and mix it up. Here I'm going to eyeball Louisiana hot sauce, maybe two tablespoons. I like to just add until I see that it's enough. Here is the Cajun style seasoning. Start with a teaspoon, like I said, salt. Seasoning is to your preference. And you know, you'll wanna give things a taste, but check this out. The turkey meat is clean off the bone on this one. I'm just gonna remove this. That's how tender everything is. It smells amazing. So I'm gonna cover with a lid and let it go for another hour. In the meantime, I'm gonna doctor up a box of Jiffy cornbread mix and make some cornbread. 
So one box of Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix, and I've added three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour to that. I'm going to just shake in a little bit of salt and one teaspoon of baking powder. Give it a mix. If you want sugar, brown sugar, definitely add it. This is just me quickly doctoring a box of Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. Now I'm going to add two large eggs into the bowl. The flour and the extra egg make this soft and fluffy, and I'm just gonna add milk until it comes together. Start with a half cup of milk, and if you need more, add a little more. And I'm just going to mix this really well. I also want to mention, you'll want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna pour the cornbread batter into a buttered cast iron skillet. And you'll want to scrape everything out and this is going right into the oven 400 degrees fahrenheit and i'm going to cook it for minimum like 15 to 20 minutes or until it's done okay so five hours slow cooking in my slow cooker and this is dinner i am so excited to serve this this is exactly how i like the beans it is just oh i can't wait to dig in a bowl of this with cornbread and rice perfect meal. By the way, I see a bay leaf, so be sure to fish those out when you see them. But this is ready. I also want to finish it off with some freshly ch chopped parsley or chopped fresh parsley <laughs> and put that on top. You can mix it into the beans and it's just, uh, with the cooler weather, this is perfect. So I have a bowl of beans and I'm going to serve it with rice right on top. This is from my rice cooker. And let's not forget a little garnish. Again, I had some leftover parsley. And I'm also going to serve with that cornbread. And it came out wonderful. Fluffy, soft, golden cornbread, a doctored box of Jiffy Muffin Mix. Goes a long way in my house. But this is the meal, and I'm so ready to dig in. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.